Hello everyone and welcome to this month uh, tips and tricks. So today we are going to see the steps that will help us to go with a correct VAT return. So the first thing that I want to do on my database is to check that I have on my settings the good uh, fiscal localization that will directly download all the tax and the uh, structure of the uh, legal statement, for example, my VAT return. Then I'm going to check that on my tax periodicity is the right one. That's in that case, I'm on a monthly period. And if I want that my um, VAT operation is booked on a specific journal, in that case, I created a new uh, VAT journal. Now that everything has been set up, I'm setup i'm going to check well everything if everything well was well booked during the period for that i have two options and i'm going to show you the first one and the first one is based on what we call the journal audit of Odoo. this is a journal that will show you all accounts that have been used during a certain period and so if you go directly and you click on an account, you are going to see all the entries that have been generated. In that case, I have uh, a stock variation uh, account that have been used and I'm going to correct everything directly using the mass update of Odoo. And as you can see, everything has been corrected. Also on my audit journal report, I can directly check on my tax grid. So I'm able directly to have uh, access to those information. My second possibility of um, checking my VAT report is directly from my uh, VAT report. So I'm going to go to my tax return. And as you can see, I have amounts that I can click on. And when I click on it, I am directly uh, uh, jumped to uh, the line entries and the invoice that made this information. Once that I have checked everything and I'm good to go with my closing entry, I'm just going to click on closing entry and Odoo is going to compute directly my closing entries. Odoo is going to use one line per uh, tax uh, code in Odoo. And then I'm going to click on post. Odoo is going to do uh, several things. The first thing that is Odoo, that Odoo is going to do is to generate my PDF format and my XML format that I can just download and put on um, Intervat. Also, now I have with Odoo 18, I have two activities that have been generated. The first one is a reminder to send my tax report and a second one is a reminder to pay it. So if I go on my journal and as you can see, I have my uh, tax payment reminder, and if I click on it, I have a small QR code that I can just scan with my bank application to pay my VAT. And also, as I want to be sure that none, uh, no uh, accounting entries have been generated to a, to a closed period, if I go to the lock date, as you can see, I have automatically my uh, tax return lock date that have been set up. So that's it for this month video. See you next month.